All set. The good news is all your mother's windows are shatterproof thermoplastic. Mm. And what about the security system? Antiquated. Mm, yeah, it's been a while since anyone's used it. Anyway, I did what you asked. Upgraded a couple of the primary cameras, swapped out the smoke detectors for smart models, and here. Oh, this will be great when the agent starts showing the place. Good idea. Looks like your mom spent a fortune on the artwork. Yeah, well, at least you left something. <laughs> sure, I can't talk you into putting in a master panel. And the bare bones, remember? At least think about a new router. Take advantage of the fiber. Cell phone service is pretty spotty out here. Yeah, like you said, antiquated. Oh, before I forget, a little late, I know. That's so sweet, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming out. I know it's not an easy drive. Yeah? I'm more worried about you being alone all the way out here. Well, it's just until I get everything sorted out with Robert. Yeah. It really breaks my heart to see two of my clients separate. Especially two of my best. I've known Robert a long time. I can honestly say I've never seen him as happy as he was the day he married you. A lot can change in five years. It can. Oh, hey. If you do speak to him, let him know I'm still waiting on that piece for that camera he ordered. Mm -hmm. For the back gate at the Malibu house? Sure. And if you don't mind, maybe Najima bought the last invoice? Oh, I, I didn't realize he hadn't paid. I'm sure he just slipped his mind. Probably. Yeah, I, I don't really have good cell service out here. What's this I hear about you moving out? Robert. I thought we were going to talk about this when I got back from San Francisco. Yeah, we are. Well, then why is Nadia texting me that you're packing the car? I, I just, I need some space, some time to think, okay? So what, you're at your mother's now? Yes. I have to fix it up and get it ready to sell, and I figured I would just... Stay out here for a little while. What's a while? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. I'm your husband and I care about your safety. 
and I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. You know, in fact, between my mother and you, I'm actually looking forward to having a little independence for once. At least let my office get you a room at the Seasons. I'm not having your office book me a damn room. Well, I'm not comfortable with you staying out there. There's nothing for you to worry about. I had Saul upgrade the security system. Look, at least let me take the room, okay? This way you can stay in Malibu until we had a chance to talk it out. Come on, please. You act like one conversation is going to magically solve everything. No, I'm not... That's not what I'm saying, Heather. I I'm going to be late. Can we just talk about this when you get back? Okay. Talk to you then. Babe. I've done what a good little girl from Calabasas is supposed to do. Go to the right school. Marry the right man. When did I stop being a wife and start being something pretty to show off at parties? Maybe you always were, you just didn't realize it. Right. You still have your spousal duties. Insurance addendum? Well, you don't get to be an investment manager at his level without being meticulous. You know, I had my own interior design firm. I had six people working for me. I had contracts with some of the biggest architects in LA. And I'm sure that they will jump at the chance to do it again. That's what I like about Joshua. He encourages me to be my own person. Uh-oh. What? Okay, listen up. As your lawyer and as your best friend, I am going to give you some very important advice. Easy, I'm still paying you by the hour. This one you get on me. Whatever you're thinking of doing, don't. It's not like we're sleeping together. An affair of the heart is even worse. I'm just happy that someone understands me. Then he will understand that he has to wait. I wish you didn't have to take so long. I did tell you this could be a process. You did. Let me remind you that in your prenup, if you are unfaithful, you Robert doesn't even know the meaning of the word nothing. And I don't need to remind you how much his hedge fund is worth. I don't care about any of that. My mom's art collection is worth more than enough to support me for a little while. Even so, I would rather you get it than the next ex Mrs. Lockwood. <laughs> Look, hang in there, okay? We'll get through this. Thanks. Hey, are we still on for lunch on Tuesday? Maybe I should invite Joshua. <laughs> See you Tuesday. Okay. Somebody here?
parked on the street. No one saw me. You want some coffee? <sighs> Come on. It's been a couple months. When are we going to finally stop sneaking around? Joshua. Heather. All right, so I, I, I know I'm not perfect. but made a couple of mistakes. All right, maybe, maybe a lot of mistakes, but they're in the past. And guess what? Tomorrow. Six months being sober. And believe it or not, you had a huge role in that. Because you make me want to be a better man. Mm. Wow. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, that actually sounded a lot less corny when I practiced it in my head. It isn't corny. Well, maybe. maybe yes, it was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was honest. Yes. So, I want to be honest with you. Uh-oh. I'm gonna divorce Robert. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Alan and I have been um, spending the last couple weeks getting the papers ready. Couple weeks? Uh, why didn't you tell me about this? Because I didn't know how long it was gonna take. And frankly, I still don't know how long it's gonna take, but it's done. I'm gonna stay here while they fix it up and I'm gonna get a place of my own. Wow, yeah, I, that's, I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say to that. Does, does he know? All he knows is that I'm staying here for a while. You don't think you should tell him? He's in business with a lot of powerful people. And if I don't play this right, he can make it very difficult for me. So Alan's gonna get the papers, we'll serve him, and then I just have to be ready. Uh, are you sure you want to do this? Because I, I, I cannot provide the kind of life that he's been giving to you. I don't care about that. And I've decided that I'm going to start designing again. Really? Yeah, even if I start small, I still have plenty of contacts. And when this place is done, I mean, in this area, I'm sure I could get seven figures for it. I have an idea. Uh oh. What if you kept this place? Because there's a pretty cool spot downstairs that we could turn into a music studio. <laughs> really? You want to live in my mom's house? You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> it does have a killer sewing room. Seriously, what, uh, what's next? You know, with us? Well, I was thinking that I could uh, put on an old faded t-shirt, go to one of those grungy coffee shops and listen to you sing songs about me. You really want to do this? Yes. For once, I'm in control of my life. Not my mother, and certainly not Robert. Well, in that case... Oh. Uh -huh. What is that? This is the grungy coffee shop I'm singing at next Friday night. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I'll see you on Friday. Absolutely, I'll be there. Heather? Uh... Um, shouldn't you be up in the air by now? Oh, you know how it is. You spend all afternoon at the club, and right when you think you're about to close, they decide they need to consult their advisors. Sorry. Well, I'll figure something out. I always do. How's Ellen? Are you having me followed? Maybe. Or it's Friday afternoon, and I know you're not home, so I thought you were probably with your best friend. She's fine. You signed that paperwork I sent over? That's what you're worried about? Of course not. Listen, I've decided that I'm going to stay in the city when I get back, okay? This way you can have the house in Malibu to yourself. I don't want the house. I, I just want to make it easier for you, that's all. No, you're trying to placate me. Now, please, can I just have some time and we'll talk in a couple days, okay? Yeah, okay. 
Have a good flight. to order uh sorry can you hear me one second is that better great um i need to order for delivery yes um a large cob salad and um, what's your soup of the day tomato basil hmm? sure i'll take one of those too heather lock cochran heather cochran uh 40 pine canyon about an hour? Great, thanks, I'll leave the gate open. Hi. Uh, order for Cochran. Yeah. Oh, uh, there was supposed to be a soup. I don't know. Uh, yeah, see, uh, soup and salad? I'd just pick up the bags and drop them off. I paid for it. Look, if you got a problem with the order, you gotta call the main number. Right. Thanks. Yeah, have a good one. Three bedroom ocean front. Oh, yes, please. Hello? Hello? Somebody there?
triggered by a squirrel or a rabbit. Seriously? A rabbit? Didn't I tell you the system was antiquated? Yeah, you did. Tell you what, I'll come back out first thing in the morning and remove them, okay? I promise, there's nothing to worry about, unless you're missing some carrots. <laughs> Funny. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.
possible it happened. No, no. Back with your soup. Had to park down by the gate. Could have left it open for me. You home? Miss <laughs> Cochran. Are you home? Cochran, I'm here. Where are you, lady? Hey, hey, I'm up here. Come on, Miss Cochran. Hey, hey. Come on. Get help. Wait, what? Get help. I, I, I can't, I can't hear you. Get help. No, I, I, I can't hear you. I have your. <laughs>
Can you hear me? Nobody has to get hurt. Okay, there's over a million dollars worth of art in this house. It's all yours. Just please, please, please let me go. Why are you doing this? What is going on? We're not alone. What do, you, what do you mean we're not alone? Somebody's out there. What are you talking about? Who's out there? Wait. Hey. Wait. Why did you come back? Well, because I got your email. What? What email? The one you sent me. I didn't send you an email. Of course you did. Look, it's right here. There's no service. 
Why would I send you an email when I always send you a text? Oh, no, I just figured that you, you're sitting at your laptop or something. Well, I, I left my laptop back in Malibu. Look, all I know is that you sent me an email from your account telling me to come over, okay? It's you. What's going on? Stay back. Hey, what are you doing? What's me? What's me? Stay hey. back! Hey, easy. Someone's trying to break into the house and you just happen to be here? I don't know what's going on, but just put the knife down so that we can talk about this. I don't this. believe you. Do you really think that I'm here trying to hurt you? Does that even make sense? Heather, you're starting to scare me. You're scared? Just please put the knife down before someone gets hurt. Ah! <sighs> Heather? <sighs> Heather, can we please talk about this? Come on, where'd you go? Heather, can we just talk? Come on. Where'd you go? Can you please just come out? Can we talk? I promise I'm not gonna hurt you. Can you just please come out so we can talk? Please? I'm not gonna do anything to you, Heather, come on! Hey, hello? Someone up there? Hello? Joshua? Joshua! Are you in here?
please, please just hurry. It's over.
We met back in March. At a bar I used to go to in college. Robert could be so controlling. And then along comes this easygoing musician. It's like he didn't have a care in the world. As long as he had a place to sleep and his guitar. He was the happiest person on the planet. I don't know. Maybe I was frustrated. Maybe I, maybe I was drunk. I, I don't know. I, Six arrests. Disorderly intoxication, disorderly conduct, aggravated battery. A bar fight downtown a couple years ago. Yeah, he, he told me all about it. He did six months in county. He, he was getting himself together. He, he got sober. I just can't believe he would do something like this. Just seeing him, seeing him down there, lying so still. It all happened so fast. I just... It looks like he fell trying to climb down a balcony. <laughs> a detective, my client has been through a lot. Is there any way we could do this at another time? Of course. Hang in there. Heather, I got here as fast as I could. A, a detective told me what's going on. Is it true you knew this guy? Um, I... You know what? It's been a long night. Why don't you two discuss this later? Of course. Why don't you come back to Malibu with me? You can you can stay in your own bed. Listen, listen, Nadia made up the sofa for me in the study. You can have the bedroom to yourself. Is that what you want? Look, I've already told her she can stay at my guest house as long as she needs. What she needs, Ellen, is to be with her husband, okay? Well, I think she's capable of making that decision on her exactly. own. Exactly, Ellen. Let her decide. Heather? Let's go. Yep. Come on. Heather. A few words. Yeah, sure. This way. <sighs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. No. Pretty strong stuff. I haven't even taken any. I can't even imagine what you're going through. Yeah. You know you can stay here as long as you want, right? There's no rush. Your mom's house isn't going anywhere. No, I suppose not. So I was thinking if you wanted to... You know, get some fresh air. Maybe we could go for a ride. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like that. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll go look for my spare saddle. <laughs> Take your time. Thank you. Always. Love you. Wow, they're beautiful. Um, hope you don't mind. I just wanted to see how you were doing today. <sighs> just taking it one minute at a time. Of course. Did you have a chance to look at the video? We did have time to review the footage from the cameras. And? There was only one intruder. Right. It's curious that he seems to know exactly where the cameras are. I know. Did Joshua spend a lot of time at your mother's house? Not really. Um, he'd come by that afternoon. And for how long? An hour, hour and a half. And you were with him the whole time? Um, not the entire time. Had Joshua had a chance to case the house, see where the cameras were? I guess it's possible. 
Do you think he could have hacked in? Maybe. But the login records only show two accounts, so not likely. Wait. Two accounts? You gave Robert access to the cameras in my mother's house? I just assumed it was the usual account. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. So, so Robert could have been watching me this entire time? Theoretically. Oh my God. I, I don't know what you want me to say. I, I, I made a mistake. It's just everything that I've ever done has always been under his name. Yeah, of course it was. Look, I changed the settings, and, and I promise no one but you has access from now on. And obviously, I won't charge you for the work I did on the house. If there's anything I can do to make this up to you. I have to go. I have another call. OK. Hello? Is this Heather Lockwood? Speaking. I'm calling from the Golden Gate Plaza Hotel in San Francisco. I'm calling in regards to a Robert Lockwood and his recent stay with us. Yes. I apologize for the inconvenience, but it seems we failed to authorize Mr. Lockwood's credit card for incidentals when we checked in. And we do have a number of room service charges. Oh? The young woman who checked out on his behalf wasn't able to pay, so I'm calling the number on file. <sighs> right. Of course. Let me just get that number for you. Out of curiosity, when was it this young woman checked out? Uh, this morning. Well, we did attempt to reach out to Mr. Lockwood directly, but he had the do not disturb engaged for the past 48 hours. So no one actually saw Mr. Lockwood since Thursday night? No, ma'am. Why? Just explain to him that the market won't bear more than 10% and then see if you can't get him to do a put option. Heather. <laughs> Give us another place. Hi. Hi. Something wrong? No, everything's everything's fine. I, I was gonna call you to see how you were doing. You look so rested. You're doing better. Hey, have you heard anything from the detectives about their suspect? Just that they had a chance to look at the video. And? It was him. Joshua, you said his name was? Mm. Yeah, there are men with his kind of history. You have to be much more careful. Do you understand? Yes, I know. Hey, I wish you would consider coming home. Actually, I have. And? I'll be there tonight. Really? Mm-hmm. But I want us to take it one day at a time, okay? Of course. Of course. Yeah. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, why? It's just... It sounded like your trip didn't go like you planned. And Saul said there's an invoice you didn't pay. That's not like you. Come on. Saul, please. Okay? I've got some heavy hitters that I'm looking to cash out. Some pretty big redemptions, but it's nothing I can't handle. Come on. Yeah, right. Of course. And we have all night to talk about this, and I don't want you to worry about it. Thank you. Can I get back to work? Of course. See you tonight. Can't wait. Hey. Love you. I'm home.
Heather? Sushi tonight, what do you say? What's the name of that place that flies the fish in fresh every day from Tokyo? Let's do that tonight. Where'd you come from, huh? Oh, shh, don't talk. It, it's some pretty strong stuff they gave me. What's, what's happening? Uh, uh. <sighs> what did you do? Don't strain yourself. It'll only make it worse. You know, I, I went back and looked at that little insurance addendum you sent over. The one that was so important for me to sign. I have to say, it was very educational. For example, did you know that double indemnity means that you get double the payout if your spouse dies in an accident or murder? <laughs> of course you did. You're the one who added it. <sighs> your wife, tragically murdered in the middle of a home invasion. <laughs> Suffice it to say, it would have covered your fun quite nicely. I have to admit, it was a pretty good plan, actually. Go out of town on business, establish an alibi, and then simply mm. drive back from San Francisco mm. early. Well, as far as anyone knows, you're still in your room, 400 miles away. All you had to do was make sure the cameras caught enough footage of you wearing your scary mask. Oh, don't worry, I made sure to properly thank Saul for giving you access to the system. Heather. Heather. Shh. You don't have much energy left. I wouldn't waste it trying to lie if I were you. <sighs> you know, leaving your girlfriend behind to check out of the hotel, that was a nice touch. Of course, you should never forget to put your car down for incidentals. Because otherwise, they'll just call your wife. So you've got your alibi. You've got your home invasion, now all you needed was someone else to take the fall. Literally. Preferably, someone who already had a record. And I'm sure a man with your resources wouldn't have any trouble digging into someone's background. Of course, the one thing you hadn't counted on was the police coming so soon. So running out of time, you had no choice but to carry out your plan before you could finish me off.
things considered, uh, I'd say it was a pretty clever plan. So clever, in fact, that I hope you don't mind, but I borrowed it. What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> Turns out, funnily enough, um, double indemnity? It also covers accidental prescription drug overdoses. Did you know that? Yeah. I could see how you would make that mistake. Being as though these bottles, they look so much alike. <laughs> a tragic, but uh, completely understandable accident. Oh, and I made sure to come in through the back gate, so if anyone checks those cameras... I was never here. <laughs> Goodbye, Robert. Nine one one. What's your emergency? My husband. He's not breathing. I just. I, I came home and I found him lying on the floor. Okay. Okay. I'm sending paramedics to your location immediately. Do you have any idea what might have happened? I don't know. There's. There's a bottle here. He might have taken the wrong medication. Oh my god, please, please hurry.